Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another first impressions video. In today's first impressions video, we are taking a look at the brand new Mira CMI-01 mask. And before we get this video started, there are a few different ways to support the channel. If you head down into the description, there is the Firearm Freedom Merchandise Store. I got a lot of awesome shirts there that you guys can check out. And then also, I am an affiliate with Mira Safety. So Mira doesn't pay for ad space or anything like that. However, if you are interested in purchasing any of the Mira products, either the ones I've reviewed on the channel or just anything else that they have, you can click that link down in the description or the comment section and use a discount code that's going to get you 10% off and I will get a kickback from whatever you purchase on the website and I seriously appreciate the support. I was... Pretty excited to take a look at this mask just because it's kind of completely different from what Mira usually has available on their website. And the most intriguing thing to me right off the bat was the price point decrease from the other masks. Usually for Mira safety masks, you're looking at like 250, sometimes even 300 bucks. They are a little bit more on the expensive side depending on the model that you go with. The CMI-01 comes in at $129, so you are already kind of getting into the realm of much more affordable for the average person, especially when it comes to the fact that most people are not frequently using their gas mask. It all depends on the person, but a lot of folks aren't using a respirator in their day-to-day -day job and other things, so it's more of a preparedness side of things. Now, of course, if you are looking for full CBRN protection, you're still going to want to go with one of the better quality full CBRN masks that are out there, whether it's Mira or whoever else that you want to go with. The CMI-01 is not a full CBRN mask. So if you're wondering why it is not, Essentially, the entire mask is still good to go for most contaminants that a full CBRN mask will protect you against. The actual rubber that they use around the mask is not going to be able to withstand blister agents. So, if you are running into mustard gas anytime soon, this rubber may not be the best for that. In fact, it is not going to be able to withstand those agents. In the average side of things with chemicals, this mask is going to protect you against that. And quite frankly, with everything that has been kind of going on recently, it's just kind of wild how much more I have been grabbing at my gas mask as a just-in-case scenario. To be completely honest with you guys, here in the state of Pennsylvania only a few days ago because of the wildfires in Canada, our air quality was absolutely horrendous out of the scale of 0 to 500 on the air quality index. We hit like a 392 where I am located, and that is really, really not good. When you know it's bad when you start walking outside the house to take the dogs out and it looks like the mist outside and it's just really nasty stuff floating around in the air. And there was a second there where I threw on a full CBRN mask, one, because I'm a little bit of a psycho, and two, because I just, you know, it made me feel a little bit more protected against whatever nasty stuff is out there floating around in the air that I am breathing in. So for a minute when I was doing some stuff outside, I threw on the CBRN mask and it was good to go. When you are looking at these situations, a mask like this that is 129 bucks, whether it's this Mira mask or anything else, can seriously save you from long-term illness because of breathing in all of that crazy stuff in the air. The first thing that is just kind of like a tidbit about the CMI-01 is the name. Mira, you guys are usually all right with the model names, but I don't know why when it comes to CMI-01, it's a little bit like hard to flow. It doesn't really say well. And when you're trying to explain to somebody, oh yeah, I'm checking out the new CMI-01 mask, 
it just doesn't really really hit like a mask that you're going to remember. So maybe the name change in the future, maybe just CM01 might be a little bit easier. We have a full face visor and this is by far the best field of view I have ever had on a gas mask. It is absolutely phenomenal. And I did think when I got it out of the box that it looks like that movie Ants. Like the characters in that movie, you know, you got those the, the face kind of looking like that. It just has that vibe to it. And I'm like, man, this thing looks just kind of bizarre, like a big bubble on your face. But when I put the mask on, these sections here of the visor that kind of like angle in are really, really wild and cool because when you're looking down, I can see everything underneath me, which if you've ever worn gas masks before is something you generally cannot do. So being able to put this mask on, I was able to look at the range at my battle belt, look at my mags, reload, everything that I would normally be able to not see underneath me with a regular gas mask, I could see with this without issue, which was huge. When you are looking at just a quick response gas mask, not to necessarily fight in, but to just have to get out of a bad situation or use around the house if you're dealing with some nasty chemicals or whatever, or use at your place of employment if you need it, this mask is really, really nice for just being able to see what is going on around you. And if you are somebody who has not worn a mask before, this is going to allow you to feel a little bit less claustrophobic and you can kind of just see everything almost 100% unobstructed. As far as the overall visor itself, it's absolutely phenomenal. Whenever I see a more affordable gas mask, I always have a concern with the seal and making sure that it has a seal. This mask achieved a seal without issue. I really didn't have major reservations about that because all my other Mira masks are solid with that. And this particular mask is the exact same way. I got a seal, no problem, no air leaks anywhere like that. Now, the one thing about the CMI-01 is that it does not have your traditional Mira exhale valve and sweat drainage valve. So we were running around at the range today with this mask and it was hot. It was very, very hot at the range day here in Pennsylvania. And I was definitely starting to notice that no sweat drainage valve. And what you're gonna start having is kind of the sweat just pool up a little bit in there and you're just gonna have some condensation there. Now, again, that is really not the end of the world, considering that you may not be using this mask in a full CBRN environment and more of a quick get out of dodge environment or at work or whatever. So I, I'm not faulting the mask too much for that. And I'm going to continue to go back to the fact that it's $129. So for $129, I don't necessarily care as much that there's not a sweat drainage valve. Now for your exhale valve, it's actually going to be right here around the spot that the actual filter goes in. So you're gonna notice that when you screw the filter into place, you're gonna feel your exhale air coming out along the sides of the filter and that is where that exhale valve is inside of the front portion of the mask there and that's just a little bit more of an affordable way to kind of put everything right up in the front and just give you one big visor for the best field of view we are working with a rubber five point strap system here not necessarily my favorite i really like the nylon harness that's kind of like just what i prefer it ends up working really well if you have longer hair or whatever and this did achieve a seal without issue so again i can't really fault this at all it worked just fine with the rubber it's going to get the job done and again it's a little bit more of a cost effective way to do the straps and allow you to get this mask at the price point that you're getting it at one of the first things that I noticed about putting the mask on my face was the comfort. It is incredibly comfortable to use this mask and it's because of the way that they kind of like laid out this face seal here around the outside. It's got like some give to it. It's almost like cushioned and I really liked that. It kind of like sucked to the face and normally on a long range day, you're gonna 
kind of like feel the hot spots of the mask. That's just the way it goes. And in this case, I didn't feel any hot spots and it was really, really nice to use. And I also noticed that usually on a full face or visor like this, you can kind of sometimes break the seal because there's, I, I don't know exactly why, but it just, it tends to break the seal. In this case, I think because of that extra give that it has on the side, it allows it to have a little bit more play and still get a seal the entire time and not break that seal. So I thought that was also excellent. Of course, a lot of people prefer the six point harness. This one is just the five point. It is what it is, not the end of the world. Again, you're looking at a price point thing there. It's a 40 millimeter thread pitch up in the front. So all standard NATO filters will work with this section up in the front of the mask. This mask, unlike a lot of the other Mira products, is actually made in Italy. So it is not coming from the Czech Republic. It's coming from Italy. And this is my first experience with an Italian gas mask or an Italian respirator. And so far, I have been pretty impressed with the overall quality as you guys are going to see in a lot of the b-roll footage i was shooting handgun primarily with this mask and shooting my vp9 was an absolute dream with this mask it was essentially unobstructed so handgun shooting no problem at all the only thing you got to be careful of with any other mask that has the filter up in the front is bonking the filter whenever you're drawing the pistol up and going to present that happens a lot in this case i did it once or twice and i started to get used to where the filter was but as far as handgun shooting and vision, reloads are awesome, no problems there. And again, I can see my whole battle belt, so that worked out really well. Rifle shooting with this mask on a standard rifle is an absolute no-go. You are not going to be able to really easily get the cheek weld, and that was with a riser on my night vision build. Luckily on that night vision build, I do have a visible green laser aiming module, and that allowed me to get shots on target. Looking at really the market that I think this mask is for, I don't know that that's necessarily the biggest deal that you're not gonna be able to shoot a rifle with this setup. And honestly, in that kind of bad situation where maybe people are freaking out and you're just trying to get out of an area, but it's not necessarily completely SHTF where everything is burning down, I'd say the most likely scenario of a firearm use would still be with a handgun and not necessarily your rifle. So there is that. If you guys have any other questions about this mask or anything else on the channel, please throw them down below in the comment section and I absolutely will get back to you. While you're down there, head up to the description, check out those links to support the channel. And as always, stay tuned for more great videos coming soon.